Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to feature the match highlight of the final of the Women's Asia Cup 2022. The match is played between Team India Women's and Team Sri Lanka Women's and the update about the toss is that Team Sri Lanka Women's have won the toss and they have elected to bat first in this grand finale of the Women's Asia Cup 2022. A skillful steer behind the point and it was on a length around 5th and a tupper to wait it for it open the face and got it past the diving fielder to end and quite over on a high and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is 7 and with the loss of no wicket mix up Atabatu looks to have been run out its and upset and replay shows she is short. Huge wicket Atabatu guided a length ball toward the short third and took off the communication hasn't been in sync and was the case here too. Both the batters were in the middle and looked to go back. A run out chance was missed last time but an accurate throw from Renika sent the skipper packing. Jamari Atabatu has been run out by Renika Singh along with Ghosh on 6 and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is 8 run with the loss of 1 wicket. Is there an edge? Yes there is. Richa Ghosh completes the catch the take her time but eventually give it out and the Indian players repeats. It was a length ball outside of and Harshita tried to slash it square but could only get an edge that was taken well. India on top. Harshita Sama Vikrama has been caught by Ghosh Bold by Renuka Singh on 1 and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is now 9 and with the loss of 2 wicket. Another tight run out attempted and there's a good throw. Looks like another run out. Yep, Anushka Sanjeevani has to go. It was a length ball that angled to the stump, stuck to the right of the puja was stuck at a short mid wicket. She ran and sent in good throw right over the stumps. The batter got a bit indecisive midway and that ended up calamitous. Anushka Sanjeevani has been run up by Vastrakar along with Ghosh on 2 and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is now 9 then with the loss of 3 wicket. Team hat-trick with the softest of the dismissal it was fullest ball on third off and Hasini tried to push it to the cover the ball may have bounced a bit more than she expected. She tried to check the shot but the ball has ballooned by then. Mandana took a comfortable catch. Sri Lanka 9 for 4. Hasini Parira has been caught by Mandana bowled by Renuka Singh on a duck and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team in this final is 9 and with the loss of 4 wickets. Q is that gone and that is gone for 4 more run. Cut down the ground and to the left of the slip fielder and the score of the Sri Lanka women's is now 14 and with the loss of 4 wicket. 5 down. Renikos knock her, her over. She has 3 add to the run out to that. This time she pitched it up induced a close face flick from Kavisha but she fell over it. The ball angled in beat the bat and hit the stumps. Kavisha Dilari has been bowled by Renuka Singh on 1 and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is 16 and with the loss of 5 wicket. Dragged on. Well, it was going downhill. Nilakshi shows the width. It was slightly short and the shot was on, but the ball kept low, so it took the under edge, went back onto the ground and to the stumps. Indians are having a party out there. Nilakshi De Silva has been bowled by Gaikwad on six, and the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is now 18 and with a loss of six wicket. Short and wide, cut with the spin. Get it to the right of the diving point fielder, and there's no one in the deep. And the score of the Sri Lanka women's team moves to 24 and with a loss of six wicket. That's of the chart in the degrees of soft dismissal. It was full outside of and Shahani tried to push it straight. It lobbed up right up on snare and has took a dolly. That looked almost unreal. Shahani walks back in disappointment. Indians happy and that's gone. And so that is it. Malsha Shahani has been caught and bowled by Rana on a duck and the score of Sri Lanka women's team is now 25 run with the loss of 7 wickets. Swings. Misses, ball spins into Castles Rana Singhe, Oshida Rana Singhe has been bowled by Gaikwad on 13 and now the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is now 32 run with the loss of 8 wicket. Dip and drift deceives Sugandhya and knock her over. Sugandhika Kumari has been bowled by Rana on 6 and now the score of the Sri Lanka women's team is now 43 run with the loss of 9 wicket. So that is it. At the end of 20 overs in this final of the Women's Asia Cup 2022, the Sri Lanka women's only manages to score 65 runs with a loss of 9 wicket. And so that is it, a sensational performance by the bowlers and the fielders of the India women's team in this first inning. India will be thrilled with their bowling but was quite a sad display with the bat by the Sri Lanka team. The inning started with hesitation in the running. One chance got away but then India struck. It was a big wicket of Otapa to win three balls. Renuka dismisses Harshita Sanjeevani and was also a run out. Renuka followed that with a soft dismissal to and Hasini Pereira stays and collapsed. Sri Lanka to 9 for 4. Recovery was never on the cards as Rana Gaikwad and Deepti bowl tight and picks the odd wicket every now and again. Rana Singh and Rana Veera were the only batters who have made it double figure as the batters just managed to complete the innings 9 down. 
And so that is it in the final of the Women's Asia Cup 2022. The Sri Lanka women's only manages to score 65 runs, which means the India women's team for once again winning the Women's Asia Cup needed just 66 runs from their 20 overs to beat Team Sri Lanka women's and lift the title of the Women's Asia Cup 2022 once again. And so, here's the time for the start of the chase. Down the track early and manages to pierce the gap on the ball of Kumari to Mandhana. Kumari darted away and that helped Mandhana who adjusted and beats the cover. And the score of the India women's team is now 9 runs with the loss of no wicket. Majestics. This time Mandhana leave her crease after the bowler released the ball. As a result, she ended up getting a delivery outside off that was tossed up. She only had to extend her arm to have the ball sail over the extra cover. And the score of the India women's team moves to 18 runs with the loss of no wicket. Over correction and Mandana takes full toll. Dart in a half tracker down the leg and Mandana goes deep and swills it to the deep square leg over the square leg area. And the score is now up and running for the India women's team. Their score moves to 22 runs with the loss of no wicket. Humongous strike by Mandana. Mandana does not let Ranavaira settle. Slings down the track quickly and blasted way over the long gone for 6 more runs. And the score of the India women's team with that 6 moves to 31 runs with the loss of no wicket. Shafali stays in the middle ends and Ranavira strikes, sees the tossed up delivery and charges down the track but Ranavira had bowled it slower so it lands on a length and goes past Shafali's bat, easy work for Sanjeevani then, no big celebrations from Sri Lanka, Shafali Verma has been stumped by Sanjeevani bowled by Ranavira on 5 and the score of the India women's team is now 32 run with the loss of 1 wicket, bowled up. What has Rodriguez done there? She looks to come down the track and slog it over on the onside. Not an advisable stroke on that surface that does not have consistent bounce. The ball slides from under her bat after staying low to strike her off stump. Dilhari strikes in a first over and will Sri Lanka hope to come back in the game? Let's watch out. Jamie Moore Rodriguez departs. Bowled by Dilhari on 2 and the score of the India women's team is now 35 run with the loss of 2 wicket. Harman Preet Kaur is underway pretty early, she miss down the track to the flathead ball, moves to the offside and she does so and whip it over the wide mid on and the score of the India women's team moves to 39 runs with the loss of 2 wickets and at the end of 5 over the score of the India women's team is 40 runs with the loss of 2 wickets, huge appeal not given, perhaps sliding down sharp turn after learning full run around off and middle, beating Mandana's flick on the inside hit the back leg and so that is it. At the end of 6 over, the score of the India women's team is 42 runs with the loss of 2 wicket. They just need 24 runs from remaining 84 ball to win the final of the Women's Asia Cup 2022.